Okay, back again with Energy Right. We are out in New River today, getting ready to do a net blow. This is new built construction. We have 12 foot ceilings on the 16 inch center, 16 inch on center walls, two by six studs. And uh, we're gonna fill that with an R21 value of blown in cellulose insulation. Now we used the 10 foot cathedral net on this 12 foot ceiling, just so you can get an idea of what it looks like over the base. So we're gonna put another little strip, fill it all in. It's gonna look real good. This is pulled real tight. And that's the, uh, how, how the net blow goes. One access hatch will be located in the utility room. I would say probably in this general area. That's really up to the drywall guy, but we'll see. We shall see. Okay, here we are in the process of the net blow. You can see the net has been hung. The cavities have been filled. We filled the cavities with uh, cellulose insulation, two by six studding, so it's gonna be right about an R21 value. We're hanging some bats on some interior walls, basically just around the master bedroom there. And then we insulated the knee walls with an R30 bat insulation. And just about ready for drywall. The drywall guys are gonna come in right behind us and start hanging. You can see how packed those cavities are. It looks really good. All the way around, even behind and under the tub. And this is where we are. This is all we have left, this small utility room. And we should be done here shortly. Finished result of the net blow. It looks really good. We also hung the markers in the ceiling. Drywall's about to go up. And then we're gonna do the, the blown in cellulose in the attic space. Okay, here we are again back with energy, right? Out in New River today. You can see that the drywall has been hung. It looks really good. Really insulated the walls with that net blow. The drywall guys have decided to provide three access hatches. There's one. There is two. And one back here in the utility room. So since they have not framed in the attic hatch, we're gonna be putting up a cap sheet. That's gonna hold the insulation back so it doesn't fall down. So you can see how tight this area is. This is a, a flat ceiling. But I am going to crawl through this thing and insulate it with an R38. And that's going to be the 12 inches of blown in cellulose insulation. The challenge of tight attics. Going to be a fun one. Okay, here we go. Okay. 1,300 square feet of flat ceiling. And we used an R38 blown in cellulose insulation. Inside the attic space here, we put some cap sheet, sheet on here to retain the insulation. So the drywall guys can come back and frame that in. Right at that 12 inch mark. A little bit bumpy, but this material is a little bit more difficult to get pretty level, but that is pretty dang good. Alrighty, thank you.